So hi, hello and welcome again. I'm Oliver, microbe hunter here. And uh, what you see over here, that is uh, the larva of a carpet beetle. And uh, six weeks ago, one and a half months ago, I found it uh, and I made a video um, about this little critter, um, even at that time. And uh, I put it into a small petri dish and what shall I say, it survived the one and a half months. So it's uh, still uh, crawling around happily, I guess, more or less happily. But look, there's something else that I found here. Um, over here, this uh, is, huh, what is this here? Uh, that's uh, the skin of the carpet beetle, it molted, right? So it kind of shed its skin off. Uh, it uh, can be found here as well. Um, and uh, basically the carpet beetle is still, um, yeah, um, over here. And uh, what I suppose, uh, what it's going to do is it's, uh, I guess, uh, going to then uh, form an adult stage. Um, yeah, hopefully sooner or later. Now, what do they eat? Well, uh, they eat uh, carpets, as the name says, and uh, usually they eat wool and animal proteins. And uh, so what I want to do is, is I want to feed it a little bit. Now, um, I don't have uh, yeah wool uh, available right now. What, but what I do have is, is I, don't, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. Um, I have got my own fingernails because fingernails are made of the protein keratin keratin not not like the ones in not keratin like in carrots but it's spelled differently um, and apparently this is uh, the protein that they like to eat and that's also the uh, protein that can be found in here um, and uh, also uh, of course in, in in wool that's why because many carpets are, are made of wool that's why yeah, if you've got those little um, insects uh, there then they might actually dam damage the carpets so what I'm going to do uh, now therefore is I'm going to uh, shave off a little bit of my fingernail and uh, I'm going to add this powder now uh, to the carpet beetle and I don't know if it's able to eat that or not uh, we're gonna see okay uh, but uh, we're just going to then or I'll be keep I'll keep uh, keep a good uh, eye on this carpet beetle and I'll see if it actually over the next couple of days will eat uh, my my fingernail shavings or not so but let's get started yeah I'm going to use a pretty sharp uh, razor now and I'm simply going to yeah try to shave off uh, a little bit of my fingernail and that will be now the food. I think it's, I don't know if it's anyone already tried that. Can't believe it. I'm not trying to feed a carpet, peel my own fingernails. Uh, I have never done this before. I don't know whether they like eating that. Um, yeah, it's going to be um, a, a complete experiment here, uh, but we're gonna see, okay? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's all here stuck now on the blade. Um, and I'll now give it to the carpet beetle. Yep, it's now reached. Uh, it's now reached the, yeah, the mold. I wonder why it's not eating its own mold. I don't know. Yeah. So that's basically. Let's add now the fingernail shavings. Here we go. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to now wait uh, for a few days, and we're gonna see whether um, it actually disappears or not. Yeah, and after a couple of minutes, it indeed started uh, to eat uh, the fingernail shavings. Uh, and uh, we're now going to see whether it uh, actually starts uh, to eat up everything that I put into the small Petri dish. So it's now a day later. The carpet beetle is still uh, doing uh, quite uh, well. And uh, as a matter of fact, it has actually devoured pretty much all of my fingernail shavings. Yeah, I can just show you that. Uh, I think I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Uh, yeah, you can actually see that pretty much uh, everything's uh, been eaten up here. Look, uh, no more fingernails uh, left over here. So I think... Uh, the carpet beetle is now has now full belly and is uh, quite uh, quite happy. At least um, I don't know. <laughs> at least I assume so. Um, I think uh, from my side, that's all I want to share with you today. I know it's a little bit of an unusual pet that I have right now, and certainly the first time that I have uh, given a little critter critter like this one some fingernail um, as a food source. Yeah, but. Yeah, sometimes we biologists are a little bit weird, but I think uh, that's okay. That's part of our nature. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.